YNW Melly is doing everything possible to be released today. You need to hear this. Are you interested in winning any of the items on the screen? If so, leave a like on this video right now, subscribe to the channel, and watch the full video to find the hidden message that you must comment to enter. Good luck. Now, YNW Melly, the creator of some of the hit songs like Mixed Personalities, Mama Cry, and many more, has been in some real trouble as of lately. Now, just since how famous he actually really is, it's not really helping him as you may think on the inside of Lockup. If anything, it's actually worse for him. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing everything with you right now on why he wants to be released right now. So, make sure you guys keep on watching because if he has to sit locked up for any longer, this could actually do a lot of harm to him. Now, YNW Melly will be in huge trouble while being on the inside if he does end up having to face the rest of his life locked up because of his court case. Now, just before I tell you on why he won't survive being locked up, I should probably fill you in on what's really going on in his court case as of right now. This is very serious. Now, YNW Melly got locked up for allegedly taking out his two best friends, otherwise known as YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. Now, YNW Melly was trying to make it appear as if they passed away during a drive-by, according to the police. And when they did their investigation, they actually found out the truth behind how these two young men passed away. And what YNW Melly said was the complete opposite of what they think really happened. Now, on October 26th, Anthony Williams and Christopher Thomas, otherwise known as YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser, passed away from what YNW Melly said was a drive-by. But the police did their investigation and apparently it was actually an inside job by Melly and one of his friends, otherwise known as Cortland Henry. And after they committed the crime, they actually tried to make it appear as if it was a drive-by, so then they wouldn't be accused of doing it and facing life locked up. And this is why it's starting to become a huge thing, because YNW Melly actually apparently lied to the law enforcement, and if he actually gets caught doing so, that's even going to add more time onto his life sentence, which means he basically won't be allowed out on parole within 30 years or anything like that, he will be facing the rest of his life locked up. Now that you guys are up to speed with what's really going on in YNW Melly's court case, let me explain on why he is not going to survive being locked up. So, make sure you keep on watching this video if you are a YNW Melly fan. Now, with Melly's case, he actually could be potentially facing life locked up, and for this young music artist who, let me remind you, is a multi-millionaire, he will actually have a very hard time being locked up, and let me tell you why. Now, I understand height and weight, they really don't matter all the time for defending yourself, but honestly, when you're on the inside of lockup, the size of some of these other inmates are honestly massive, and they literally have nothing to lose. Like, they're expecting to spend the rest of their lives in there, so who cares what they really do on the inside? It's not going to change the outcome for them. Now, YNW Melly being 5'8", 154 pounds will literally make him a super easy target on the inside and I can guarantee right now just because how serious YNW Melly's case is he's actually going to be put in probably the really bad side of lockup with all the other people that you know will be facing life for taking someone out and these guys really they don't care like they have nothing to lose nothing they do inside lockup will change the outcome of their life they're basically in there forever he will be put with all the other inmates that are you know doing life as I said and they're not going to be too friendly to YNW Melly as I said YNW Melly is a multi-millionaire he, you know he doesn't have the biggest size so he won't really be able to defend himself and a lot of these guys on the inside are going to be wanting to use him for you know commissary needs and whatnot so it's honestly a super easy target for them and not to mention the other big problem that YNW Melly is going to have if he is found guilty in his court case is the fact that YNW Melly will not get any respect on the inside and that is a huge thing that you want to have when you're in the inside of lockup is respect and things like that because YNW Melly if he is caught guilty and the fact that you know he did what he did to his best friends from childhood 
you know, taking out practically your brothers, it's not going to get you any respect on the inside because it's going to show that you don't care about the ones that are close to you and it's going to prove to people that you aren't loyal to them and you would just do things to your own family for, you know, financial gain or whatever it is. If people on the inside find out about that, nobody's going to want to get close to YNW Melly. No one's going to want to protect him or even be friends with him for that matter because YNW Melly obviously doesn't really care what happens to the people that are close to him. But I probably should mention as a huge fan of YNW Melly as I am, I do believe on his side of the story. I do believe, you know, he never would have touched his two best friends. I believe that what he said happened in his court case is what really happened. And that could be, you know, because I am a huge fan of his and all of that. But still, I do have faith in YNW Melly. I do hope that he does get released because if he does, he will return to music and be one of the biggest music artists in the industry. So I do think that will happen. Now anyways guys, it has been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.